I'd like to introduce you to Serve PC with the Esri OEM engine. It's breakthrough technology that merges the graphics of Esri and the power of the uh, Esri ArcMap engine with Serve PC and its surveying capabilities, its very large uh, equipment driver list, and the cab-like features that we've introduced in our map screen within Serve PC. Serve PC itself is the PC version of Serve CE. So if we turn our attention over to the screen, uh, you see that you have this tremendous graphic environment courtesy of the Esri engine. I liken it to almost turning a channel on your TV set. You've turned to channel four, and lo and behold, there's the Esri quality, the Esri graphics. And this is something that is just provided to you. So if I'm surveying and I want to resurvey this point here, I can remeasure it, hit enter, and select the particular code that I want to change it to. Maybe the square. This is a Norwegian example, so the text is in Norwegian. So that, that point has moved to a new position and has a new symbol. Similarly, I can create a brand new point. Let's say it's a cross in the stone. I'll hit OK and look for it here. I find one, store it, and that particular symbol with the next incremented point number goes in automatically. Well, that illustrates the point feature. Uh, there's also the aspect of field to finish, that uh, field to finish is active. If I survey right now, and instead of doing a point feature, instead I choose a line feature, uh, I'll go to a different category, all, and go look through my list, and I can pick a line, and uh, I can go ahead and store it. And if I end that line, I've, I've applied the ability to select my line type and draw in that way. This, I made a very short little line. But watch, watch us do something different now. We're going to take a measurement, but this time type in offset horizontal four meters. So you can actually do an offset line using field to finish capabilities. This one also has a point feature associated. And watch for a second line when I end this one. And I'm going to do a end on this next element. End. Store. Pick the line type. I'll use the default and see two lines have been created. Now, what's interesting is, if I slow this down, if I pick the line in uh, by simply selecting it on the map, it appears, and you can actually alter it. It's part of the Esri drawing. You can change any aspect of it. Now, let me do one more aspect. I'll come in here and make a, a, a figure. We'll go and look for a different category and pick an area or polygon figure. And in this case, I'm going to do a four-sided polygon. And you see, it'll actually draw a shading and an area. And let me do one more side and end it, actually use uh, the close polygon command and store it. And there is the figure. It's, it's 300 or 30 square meters. Now, if I go to the map screen where we have a lot of CAD capability, we can go and slide one of the sides to achieve the area we want which might be 35 square meters, hit enter, and have those kind of controls. We can also repeat the command 
and pick a side and actually do an addition. Just say uh, minus 10. And in this way, or I could say minus 2 and back up that side to get the precise area. And the key point here is that you do no advanced prep time. The polygon is drawn based on how it's defined, how that feature code is defined in Esri. It's defined to have a brownish tan color, and it's defined to have a blue text of two decimal places with the suffix description associated. So the key to all of this is that you work in these in the Esri environment with the graphics, courtesy of the Esri engine, with full access to the attributes in Esri database, just as you would in the office. There's no conversion, there's no use of shape files, and just as it's saved and modified here is how it comes back into ArcMap at the end of the day. This taps into the Carlson Serve PC driver library, which is the largest in the world, working with a variety of GPS and models, as well as total stations. And it also taps, as you just saw, features of offsetting, sliding side area, and CAD-like features more often associated with drafting than with uh, GIS. Merges all three worlds of drivers, CAD, and the power of Esri and its graphics all in one.